Today we're going to be talking about the Dennis Wick Cup Mute. Let's go. Welcome back to the Trumpet Studio. I am Recio. Today I told you we're gonna be talking about the Dennis Wick Cup Mute, and I have it here in the box. I'm gonna open it up and give you guys a look at how it looks on the inside, and then we'll play it and compare it to another commonly used cup mute, which is the Humsburg Cup Mute, this one right here. The old, uh, the old red bottom. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's, get, let's go ahead and get to opening this thing up. So I like the packaging first and foremost. Comes in a nice little box, and the actual box has a tab on it to help you open it, and I like that a lot. The, like this little tab right here. I think that's pretty cool. Sit you open it up, open it up nice and cleanly. Then we got inside we have probably with some packing foam, but honestly, I've already used this mute, but I want you to see the box. So yeah, um, nice little package. Has the Dennis Wick logo. Let's see if we can get it focused on here. Nice little Dennis Wick logo there. Um, as you can see, I've already used it a little bit, so some of the corking has uh, been rubbed off, which is always a good part of the process to have happen for your horn. As usual, I'd like to remind you guys that I'm here for all levels of trumpet players and trying to build community around all levels of playing from first day players to professionals, the OGs. Um, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell because the algorithm doesn't really help out smaller channels like ours with trumpets. So I mean, make sure you, you subscribe so you can get and put on a notification so you know when I post a video. So let's get back into this mute. So the Dennis Wick cup mute, um, I basically consider it to have three positions on it, fully locked in. If you scoot back about a centimeter and you come back another centimeter, it'll affect how the horn plays inside the bell. So a direct comparison of the two mutes is, here's the red bottom Humsburg. Here's the Humsburg. And let me throw in the Dennis Wick. So there's a little bit of difference in sound there between such a, a tighter cup mute sound with, that comes with this one. But you can also have variations on this one since you have those three different positions. So that was what I can consider the first position. Scoot it back about an inch. Now it'll get it tighter to the bell. And let's hear how that sounds. But it's not completely covering the bell, but tighter to the bell. And back to the first open position. Almost closed. See, that's a darker sound, and I'm going to close it completely. I consider this like more like a, a bucket mute type sound. And you can open it slightly and it'll get a div, even like more unique sound. So like you have options with this mute. So that's that's the one I consider to be most like the bucket mute. For reference, let me give you guys an example of the bucket mute. For this is Joe Rao bucket mute. This is one I used uh, that went and was using on the example of Cherokee that I've that I've done my talk talking trumpet episodes with. So yeah, you can hear that, like all the fluffiness that comes with this one because it has all the extra little cotton and f fluffy sounds in it. But it sounds very similar. So this this type of mute can get you by um, in a pinch. And uh, honestly, if you're in an actual pinch, you can get by using it as a cup, similar to a bucket sound. And you also can take the, move it entirely. You can also move the entire cup portion. And you probably could get by using this somewhat as a straight mute in a pinch. I wouldn't say you'd use it all the time as a, as a straight mute, but as an, in a pinch, you can get by using it as, as a straight mute. All right, let me show you what that straight mute sounds like. I mean, that's pretty freaking close. <laughs> you know, that's, those two sounds are very, very close. I mean, that's, yeah. So yeah, you can get by with, you know, about four or five mutes using this this uh, 
this Dennis Wick mute. So let me show you another example of how people might use it. And this is more along the lines of like the Louis Armstrong type of playing where you keep partial mute in, um, but you're still kind of cupping the sound. And you can also move it around just a little bit. So, you know, you get some options with, with that one. And you can also bring it in just a little bit, doing the same effect, bringing in the the amount of the cup that's coming down. It all it, all, it gives you so many texture changes. And what, and what are mutes for? They're really for texture changes. That's really what they're about, texture change. And so this is a great mute for that. So yeah, that's the Dennis Wick cup mute. I really like this mute. I feel like it's pretty versatile and it gives a great sound. And I mean, like it, it's, it could get you by in a pinch just, just having the, the one mute to get by with about four or five different types of mute sounds. Feels great, looks great, has a great sound. It's pretty durable as well. So, I mean, go ahead and get your Dennis Wick mute. They're, I'm not sponsored by them in, in, in any way or endorsed by them, um, but I just really like this mute and I'm trying to give you guys options for what you can use and how you can uh, expand your, your accessory uh, catalog. So all those textures you wanna get, you can get it, and this is one of those options that I would recommend for um, using on your on your horn, the Dennis Wick Cup Mute. This is the DW5531 Dennis Wick Cup Mute. All right, y'all, thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you are subscribed and turn the notifications bell so you know when I post videos. I'll be hitting you guys with a Trumpet Tuesday video every every Tuesday, but you know, you can watch it whenever you want. It's just Tuesday for me, <laughs> or Tuesday when it's released. So y'all have a great one. I appreciate y'all checking it out. I'm out.